Polly Trek, me open her. And away they go from the 1400 meter marker. Glamour's near the rail on the outside, knock em stiff, and around them, General Bing is well positioned. Tea time tipples about three lengths off the leader at this stage. Uncle Luck is in the pink white head gear near the rail. Further back behind that is Yu King on the outside, always shining, and then we drop back to Hunter's Arrow and Capolino, and that's about seven or eight lengths off the leader. Glamour's by one length, Knockham Stiff is back second, the outside General Bing, near the rail, Uncle Lucky, a length and a half off the leader. Back in fifth position is Tea Time Tipple, the blue sleeves and cap, and always shining is going to go around them, but only three lengths off the leader. Then Capolino behind that, Yu King and Hunter. His arrow. Top of the lane, 500 metres to go, and Glamours leads them. On the inside of that, Uncle Lucky towards the outside, General Bing. They are followed further back by Knockham Stiff, and towards the outside, Tea Time Tipple. Glamour still leads it, coming down to the 200 metre marker. On the inside, Uncle Lucky. The outside, Tea Time Tipple, and General Bing as they come to the last 150. Still Glamours, Tea Time Tipple's trying to close it down. Glamours is still in front. Tea Time Tipple's coming straight. Strongly, there's nothing in it. It's going to be close as they come down to the line. Tea time tipple won it. Glamour second, third to always shining. Tea time tipple gets up the last jump to deny Glamour's. So yes, Glamour's who led practically everywhere, but tea time tipple isn't Sean Veal riding well. And tea time tipple, the blinkers removed will creep into your picture and ends up tote favorite 240 and actually wins it. Wins it by what a half length, but going into the closing stages looked very, very close, but it wins. Number four, second Glamour's, third to number nine, always shining. Then came number eight, General Bing and Uncle Lucky and Knock'em Stiff. So as we look at this, so Glamour's is still in front, coming to the 300, and then Sean pulls Tea Time Tipple out, Stuart Ferry, and this one is the VAR. And it's for the full odds and Drew, of course those famous colours that we've had for many, many years, Red Badge was one of them, uh, Kapev also, and uh, also Punta Arenas, and comes home really stealthy, there's the salute, Tea Time Tipple at 2.40 is victorious, and it's bred by Ridgemont. Well done Stuart Ferry, until the second, back to the studio.